Greetings, Hollyhock agents. This is your Monday briefing from Special Agent Beardy. Last week, we received photos and videos of some terrific looking robin's nests. Excellent work. On Friday, you and Elise worked diligently to supply your nests with food and wrote letters to the robin letting it know that you had improved its habitat. Now this morning, we received a letter from the robin in response, which I would like to share with you. <clears throat> Dear Hollyhock, thank you for building such lovely bird nests for me and filling them with food. I thought about moving into your nest and realized that my natural habitat is a nest very high up in the top of a tree. So that is where I will live. Thank you for being so kind to make a new nest for me in case anything ever happens to mine. I'll be singing hello to you from up in the trees. Very interesting. It appears that the robin needs to build its own home in the trees. Now this fact has HI6 wondering. In what kind of trees do birds build their nests? We are hoping that our secret agent team can help us solve this mystery. So let's get our bodies warmed up and ready to begin. Find a spot to stretch out and move around and pause this video until you're ready. All right, secret agents, let's begin by getting loose. We're going to do some whole body shake outs, starting with our right hand, we're gonna do it eight times, then our left hand eight times, our right foot eight times, and our left foot eight times each. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 Very good. Now let's do everything four times again, starting with the right hand. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now half of four is two. So let's do everything two times. Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now do everything one time. One, 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 one. And shake your body out however you need to. Right now, go. All right, we feel the loose now. Very good. All right, friends, now, our next exercise is our tree exercise. So we're going to begin by planting our little seeds in the ground. So everyone crouch down and grab your shovel. You're going to dig a small hole in the ground. And now you're going to take your seeds and sow them to plant them in the ground. So sow your seeds into the hole and cover it back up. Now, grab your watering can and give your seed a nice drink from the watering can so that it can grow big and strong. Now I want you to use your imaginations and pretend that you are that little seed in the ground. And we're going to grow up towards the sky from that little seed as it sprouts and gets bigger and bigger. But start just with your index finger, just one finger. Start to slowly rise up from the ground, wriggling and wriggling. And that one finger turns into all your fingers, reaching towards the sun and the air and the rain. And now it becomes your whole hand and your whole arm is starting to stretch and reach toward the sky. Go as slowly as you like. There's no rush. You can use both hands now to reach and your head and your shoulders and your chest can start to rise up and stretch and feel that wonderful stretch towards the sun. You can take a deep breath and let it out. And now find that your feet come together so that they're touching each other and imagine that your roots are going down from the bottom of your feet into the earth, stretching down and out into the ground so that you feel very strong and very secure. 
Now what happens if it starts to rain or the wind starts to blow? What do the branches of trees do? They can sway in the breeze, but you're feeling very strong and their feet are not going to move at all as you sway. And now you can let that come to stillness. Put your arms out. And if you're feeling brave, you might start to lift one foot, slowly crawls up the side of your leg and see if you can balance in this tree pose for three seconds. One, two, three. Very good. Let that come back down to the ground. And now maybe the other foot starts to sneak up your leg and try and hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. And let it slowly come back down. Shake it out. Let it all go. Let's take a deep breath in together. And let it out. One more time. Deep breath in. And let it out. Very good work, secret agents. I believe you're ready for your mission. Now that you are warmed up, it's time to brief you on your mission. It is clear from the Robin's letter that trees make the best spot for bird's nests. So now we need more intel on our local trees. What do they look like? How do they grow? What are the names of the different kinds? These are some of the questions we would like for you to ponder this week. Have you noticed that some trees have leaves while others have needles? The kind with leaves are called deciduous trees. That's a big word. Can we all try saying that together? Deciduous. Now the kind that have needles are called coniferous trees. Another big word. Can we all try saying that together? Coniferous. Very good. Have you also noticed that some trees drop seeds or seed pods while others drop pine cones? Today you will be collecting these four important clues. Leaves, needles, seed pods, and pine cones. When you have some of each, HI6 needs you to sort them into different areas or containers and send in your data for analysis here. We would also like you to count the number of each clue you have and send us the sum of the samples you collect. What is a sum? Here's an example. I started with one leaf, then I got two more. How many do I have now? One, two, three. Three leaves. So my sum is three. When you add two numbers together, the new number you get is called a sum. Once we have these valuable clues, we can begin to understand the robin's interest in the trees. Grown-ups, as always, you can find all the details below and do be in touch with any questions along the way. It's up to you, Hollyhock agents. You can do it, and we can't wait to see your findings. Good luck. <laughs>